What's up, you guys? Welcome back again to your HeroClix headquarters. Today, we've got this epic Superman, uh, Death of Superman iconic set. Uh, special thanks to WizKids for sending me this early to unbox for you guys. This thing is massive compared to all the other iconics. Like, let me just show you, because uh, we also have a, the Batman slap one here. Um, the, like, it's half the size of this freaking thing. It's massive. But, uh, yeah, so taking a look at the back of this, got the epic, like, comic panel, basically, of them punching each other. So cool. And, uh, yeah, you can see on the side here the figures and just the, the freaking, you know, the art here, like the, the comic cover just looks so epic. And, man, I can't wait to crack this thing open. So let's take a look here. Um... This looks so great, you guys. There's uh, like eight figures in this set. So this is the biggest Iconics release we've had so far. And uh, without further ado, let's cut it open and take a look. All right. So uh, sliding this out here. We've got all of the figures and cards. So let's, uh, I'm gonna quickly pop out the figures so we can take a closer look at them. All right, so I pulled them all out here. They look amazing, as you can see. Um, so I think we'll just uh, pop open these cards and we'll take a look at them one by one. If you haven't already seen what these guys can do, this is such an amazing set. So we'll just go ahead and start with Supergirl then. So uh, as usual with these iconic sets, the sculpts are top notch. But uh, the Supergirl here has the uh, Superman team ability as well as the team player team ability. Uh, she has the team Luther trait, which gives her outwit. When Supergirl uses the uh, team player team ability, if a friendly character with the Superman ally team ability has been KO'd this game, she may instead choose a copyable or uncopyable team ability that an opposing character can use. So she can copy even like Power Cosmic or Mystics or something that an opposing character has, which is pretty great. Uh, 75 or 50 points, pretty solid at either one of those. Um, I don't know, kind of a short dial for 50, I'd say, but... Uh, she does have some more tricks here. When Supergirl is KO'd, choose a friendly character. This game, the chosen character has flight, Superman ally team ability, and can use shape change. And then Matrix, free. Choose one to use until your next turn. If Supergirl is 75 points, choose two instead. Energy shield deflection, super senses, and telekinesis. So, some good options there. She can... Uh, if you're playing her at the full 75, you got ESD, Super Senses, Invuln, Shape Change. Uh, I think that's all pretty good, you know, defensive-wise. Or you could pick TK if you really needed to move somebody else around. But, you know, Charge Super Strength to pick up those objects. Not bad. Gets a little stealth and regen there at the end. I think if I'm going to play her, I think I would play her at 75, personally. All right, so next up, we're going to take a look here at Superman in the black suit. And he's got that uh, classic mullet and everything. <laughs> classic black suit Superman. But uh, taking a look at his card here. You got the return of Superman. Sideline active. When a friendly character that can use the Superman team ability is KO'd. After resolutions. If Superman is on your sideline, give him a resurrection token and roll a d6. Adding the number of resurrection tokens to the result. On a 6+, plus, generate Superman from your sideline into the last square the friendly character occupied on his 50-point starting line. So taking a look here at his dial, you got 90 or 50. Um, pretty good long dial there for 90 points. 50 points, pretty solid. Wish he had some sidestep or something up there, though. Um, yeah, he's kind of kind of weak, actually. Just some energy explosion, some, uh, you know, enhancement. Then he hits, I believe that's a stop click there. If Superman is 90 points, stop. Impervious. When this power is first revealed for the rest of the game, Superman has flight and can't be healed above this click, even if this power is revealed by turning past it. Interesting. Uh, oh yeah, so yeah, if he's uh, 50 points, he can't be healed past it, even if he doesn't stop, basically. Um, so unfortunately, he doesn't get the stop if he's 50. But, uh, you know, only if he's 90. Kind of weird. I feel like they still could have given it to him for 50. But uh, he's got giant size. Superman takes a maximum of one damage from opposing attacks. Protected outwit and pulse wave. And that's on his special damage power for his Kryptonian battle mech that he only has at 90 points. 
Um, very cool. So he takes a max of one damage from opposing attacks. So you could they have to hit him at least three times. And then he gets kind of weaker here, but, you know, he takes another good hit and gets him to a stop click where he gets super strong, you know, super strength, close combat expert, hypersonic, 19 defense. So I think playing him at 90, totally worthwhile. Throwing him on the sideline, too, is really good. Um, just to be able to bring him in when one of your other Superman team ability characters gets KO'd. Uh, let's see, next up we have Eradicator. And this is maybe one of the favorite sculpts here because... This dude, the cape, they really went all out on his cape. It's freaking epic. Uh, but yeah, very cool. So taking a look at his dial here. When Eradicator KOs an opposing character, opposing characters modify attack minus one until your next turn. So really good if he gets some KOs. Uh, kind of weakens their whole team, makes it harder for them to hit him, which he's going to need because he's 120 points at full dial. Last Son of Krypton, Penetrating Psychic Blast. Uh, improved targeting destroys blocking, but only if a friendly character with the Superman team ability has been KO'd this game. So, you know, this whole Death of Superman set really seems to hinge on a character with the Superman team ability being KO'd, uh, which I have some pro tips for. I'll talk about that a little bit later, though. Um, so, yeah, you got Running Shot, 12 Attack, with 4 damage, Precision Strike, 19 Impervious. Pretty good stats there. Not bad for 120. Uh, and let's see, he's got a special defense power. Gives him super senses. Regeneration as free, but only if Eradicator is in your starting area. So if you run back to your starting area, you can heal him up for free. Not too shabby. Pretty strong range attacker there. Uh, let's see, next up here we've got Superboy. With his uh, smoking finger gun there. Nice. Uh, so yeah, he's got also the Superman and uh, team player team abilities. Don't call me Superboy. When an opposing character targets Superboy without wit or perplex, until your next turn, he can use Battle Fury and Close Combat Expert protected outwit. Um, so I did already hear somebody mention uh, this should probably say until the end of your next turn. Otherwise, you know, neither of those powers really helps too much when you only have it until the, you know, beginning of your turn, basically, which is when it would go away, I'm pretty sure. It just says until your next turn. <laughs> so uh, it should probably say until the end of your next turn. But regardless, uh, hopefully they'll kind of errata that or something. I don't know. But for 55 points, got a pretty solid dial there. 10 movement charge with flight is great. 11 attack super strength with 4 damage. Great damage potential. And then on his special defense power, he's got uh, energy shield deflection and invincible, which is really good. And then he actually has another trait here, Flurry. When Superboy knocks back one or more opposing characters, if a friendly character with Superman team ability has been KO'd this game, choose a character he knocked back and he may immediately place himself in a square adjacent to them. So that's really cool. You could Flurry. I mean, Traded Flurry is great when he already has, you know, four damage for 55 points pretty nuts. This dude's actually got some pretty crazy damage potential for 55 points. Uh, and you know, you can knock somebody back with a super strength, maybe place him adjacent to them and uh, hit them again, which is pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to, you know, last actually until the end of your turn. So getting Battle Fury and Close Combat Expert would be great. Ignoring Shape Change, you know, giving 12 attack 5 damage would be pretty nuts for that. So yeah, pretty great for 55 points, I think, personally. Uh, let's see, next up here, we've got the Cyborg Superman. Again, a great sculpt on this guy. They really did a good job with the uh, Cyborg parts and the cape and everything. Looks pretty freaking epic. like this one a lot. Um, well, I say that now, but to be honest, this one is the one I'm least looking forward to playing against because uh, he is very similar, in my opinion, to Scarab. Uh, he's not quite as broken, but he does similar things. So, uh, free, choose a non-debris terrain marker that is either within range or held by a character within range and remove that marker from the game. If you do, use regeneration as free. So that's great. He can just remove terrain markers and get some healing out of it. Uh, he's coming in at either 185, 75, or a measly 40 points. So he got that hypersonic pulse wave, which does not combo, unfortunately, but still two very powerful powers. Four damage with prob is also great. 
Um, I don't really like the 75 line here. Phasing, super strength, invuln, kind of whatever. But for 40 points, you know, sidestep, energy explosion, perplex, not too bad. And you know, the ability to free remove a terrain, as well as his other trait here, which gives him shape change. If a friendly character with Superman team ability has been KO'd this game, Cyborg Superman can count range and draw lines of fire from squares of characters that are equipped or have the robot keyword. When Cyborg Superman attacks this way, characters take a maximum of two damage. So there you go, very similar effect to the uh, dreaded Scarab chase that just rotated out of Modern Age as of me recording this literally a few days ago. But uh, yeah, so uh, it is possible to KO your own friendly character with the Superman team ability pretty quickly. Um, there's a thing called the Justice League Fulcrum Abominus that is only 25 points and has only one click of health. And you could always, you know, uh, get the lava terrain that comes in the Avengers 60th, um, I think it's the Hulk or maybe the Iron Man uh, play at home kit. And that lava terrain deals you like a penetrating damage. So you could just move him onto it and KO himself. And then boom, you get this effect like turn two. So yeah, pretty cool. I mean, you're giving up 25 points if you want to go that route, but he can just shoot through equipped characters across the map and that's never fun. Uh, it's fun for when you're using it, but it really sucks when you're getting hit by it. Uh, anyway, so that's my pro tip there for you guys. But uh, moving on here, he's got Impervious on his defense. And at the beginning of your turn, Cyborg Superman may generate a blocking terrain marker into a square within range. So pretty cool. You kind of get some like free blocking every turn. Uh, outwit, when Cyborg Superman uses it to target a character with the robot keyword, he may instead choose two powers. So he's really good against robots, which is pretty nice. Um, and then, yeah, so 40 points, you know, like I said, team him up with a Abominus thing, KO it with Lava Train, he's shooting people with energy explosion, so he's only going to do two damage anyway. Um, otherwise, you've got the uh, Super Outwit thing, I guess. What is that? Yeah, Outwit. Uh, you can double Outwit if it's on robots on the 75 line. Otherwise, just having that Super Imperv prob and everything on the 185 line. Cyborg Superman's a beast. You guys, I think every point line on him has potential for sure. Although I'm probably more a fan of the 40 or the 185. 75 is kind of meh. But next up, we've got Steel. And, uh, you know, this dude looks awesome. Love the armor, the cape, the hammer. Super freaking epic. Anyway, taking a look at his uh, dial here. For all characters with this trait, when an equipped opposing character is KO'd, score 10 victory points. When Steel uses a close or range destroy action, opposing train markers can't use indestructible. That's so cool. He can just destroy indestructible terrain, uh, which, you know, could cause all kinds of problems for your opponent. And you get an extra 10 points every time you KO somebody that's equipped, so that's pretty awesome. Only 85 or 50 points I think is pretty great for either of his starting lines. You know, charge, close combat expert, he'll be a 12 for 4 up close um, with his special attack power there. Uh, but first of all, we got a trait, Steel can reduce penetrating damage. When Steel succeeds on a d6 roll, if a friendly character uh, with Superman team ability has been KO'd this game, after resolutions, heal him a click. So any single d6 roll, like impervious, leadership, willpower, um, blades... You know, he doesn't have all those, but you can certainly give them to him with equipment or something. Uh, and then when Steel hits after resolutions, hit opposing characters, gain immobile until your next turn. Gotta love that. Just immobilizing them, you know, stop, hammer time. Uh, but then, yeah, charge, quake, leadership for 50 points, not too bad. Um, yeah, he's pretty fun. I like him a lot at either point value as well. And then, all right. So, last but not least here, we've got the boys themselves here, Superman and Doomsday. I love how the cards line up to have them punching each other. That is so freaking cool. I did not think I would be holding this in my hand so soon. I just saw them preview this at Worlds, uh, what feels like a few days ago, a couple weeks ago already, but man, oh man. So, yeah, let's take a look here at the Superman 
so cool such a good superman and uh this is this is maybe my favorite superman now uh which you know rightfully so this was such an epic story but uh, first of all, living up to Superman's example, unique modifier. When Superman is KO'd, each friendly character that shared a keyword with him modifies their defense plus one this game, protected pulse wave. So just a flat out plus one defense for your whole team if you're on a theme team. Um, and he's coming in at either 160 or only 35 points. So you got some great options there for team building if you want to make him the headliner or just kind of a support piece. Uh, you got those two options. Uh, he does have Justice League, Kryptonian, Metropolis, and Reporter keywords, which is kind of important for his uh, trait there. So just to know that. You've got improved movement to destroy blocking, as all Supermans should, because he can just walk right through it if he wants to. Uh, but yeah, that dial, pretty impressive if you just uh, take a look at the pure stats there. But we'll take a look at the movement power. Hypersonic speed and plasticity is great. Uh, because, yeah, racing to contain Doomsday, so you can hold him in place, but it also really helps to break away with the hypersonic, which is also what you want to do if you want to hit and run, you know? Uh, then that special defense power is very Superman-like, protecting the JLA, invincible. When a character attacks, if they could target Superman, they must, and can't target other characters. Protected outwit. So, man, that is very strong. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, 19 defense, invincible, must target him. For 160 points, this is uh, pretty much my go-to Superman, I think. If I want to play Superman, this is the guy, for sure. Uh, that's just so epic. And you got the super strength. If only you could use the super strength with the hypersonic to pick something up and hit somebody with it, that would be nice. But, I mean, he's got close combat experts, so he's still swinging 12 for 5 with knockback from the super strength. You know, still super powerful. And for only 35 points, you do have that hypersonic still with some invuln and leadership. And it's much easier that way to pull off his, uh, you know, when he would be KO'd, uh, everybody gets plus one for the rest of the game defense. So for 35 points, I mean, heck, throw him on a team, hypersonic in there, get some damage in, he gets KO'd, whatever, your whole team gets plus one defense. And last but not least, we have Doomsday. Super epic sculpt there. Got a piece of Superman's cape in his hands. Yeah, he's just punching. Bam. All right, super cool. And this dude is quite a monster. So taking a look here, we've got the uh, Cosmic Energies team ability, of course, and the Superman Enemy team ability. Uh, he's Kryptonian, Superman Revenge Squad, Brute, and Monster keywords. Doomsday starts the game with a restraint token. If Doomsday has a restraint token, he takes a maximum of one damage from attacks. When an opposing character hits Doomsday with an attack, instead of dealing normal damage, they may choose to remove the restraint token. If they do, Doomsday can use Flurry this game. Uh, so <laughs> that, that's a tough call. I mean, probably going to want to remove that token right away just so you can actually deal some damage to this guy. But at the same time, if you, <laughs> he's got a stop click like right after his starting click of almost every starting line. So uh, I'm pretty sure, right? Stop, uh, yeah, stop invincible. So yeah, if you don't time that right, this dude's gonna destroy you. If you just run in there and say, hey, I'm just gonna hit you, get rid of that restraint token real quick. Um, yeah, he's gonna hit you with a 13 attack, six damage, exploit weakness and flurry. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nasty. 300 points, though. Definitely worth it, it looks like. 175 is a much more fair and economical point value, though. Still has uh, great stats there. 12 attack, 4 damage, exploit, quake. 125, a little bit shorter dial, but uh, still pretty powerful. Lots of steel energy there on the back half to heal up some close combat experts. So this dude's doing like a minimum four damage the whole dial, which is nuts. Um, he does have traded battle fury at the beginning of the game. Choose a keyword. This game doomsday modifies his attack and damage plus one when attacking one or more char opposing characters with the chosen keyword. So yeah, you pick that keyword and he's going to be hitting for uh, like 14 for seven potentially on his 300 point line. 
Uh, his special movement power, when Doomsday is given a move action after resolutions, he may be given a close as free. You might as well just say charge that doesn't have to half movement, right? That's actually kind of better than if it was charge that didn't half movement because for in the specific situations, somebody like Cosmo that just says, you know, opposing characters within range can't use whatever power you choose. Um, there's no power to choose here. There's no standard power you can choose, right? So that does kind of get around that because it's just its own special power and he can't be outwitted. So pretty powerful. Uh, then you got that stop invincible there and of course team abilities and everything. So yeah, uh, he's got four stop clicks at 300 points. He's got just super high stats. This doomsday, he's a beast. He could definitely hold his own at 300 points, I think. Like I said, if you just rush in there, say, all right, I'm just going to hit him, try and get that token off. Honestly, I would just be fine hitting him a couple times without trying to remove the token because I don't want him hitting me with flurry for the rest of the game because uh, that close as free, you know, he could flurry with that or he could use, uh, you know, use that to hit you with an object for freaking eight damage penetrating. Oh my god, this dude is just going to one shot everything. It's crazy. Uh, great at all the point values though, I think personally. So yeah, this set is amazing. This is maybe the best Superman and best Doomsday we've ever had. Um, and this is just some of the, some other amazing figures here. All of these guys keying off of any of your friendly Superman team ability characters being KO'd. You know, there's some, some kind of ways you can cheat that, like I said, with the Fulcrum Abominus and the Lava Terrain. Uh, I think he could actually come off the sideline then and replace him for that, right? That'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, then you get him shooting through people. Uh, some crazy, crazy effects between all of them. And uh, they're just so awesome. But this set is just so cool. So well done, in my opinion. I love it. 10 out of 10. It's hard to compete with that Nightfall iconic set, but this may be the best one yet. However, me being more of a Marvel fanboy, I think the next one coming out, the Iron Man Hall of Armors, is going to be a great one to look out for. Probably going to be my personal favorite. But for now, I think this is the iconic set to grab for sure. But as always, you guys, let me know all of your thoughts about that in the comments below. If you enjoyed this unboxing, make sure you smash that like button because it does help me out a lot. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And of course, if you'd like to help support the channel even more, check the links in the description for our Patreon so you can see your name here in the credits with all these other amazing people and be entered into our monthly giveaways. Also, you can hit the join button there for the uh, YouTube membership. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, this has been HeroClix Headquarters, signing off.